Well, at least it's gained a huge amount of popularity during the COVID-19 pandemic. But TikTok has been under pressure for weeks now from Italian authorities to strengthen the way it protects younger users online. It was only just a few weeks ago that a 10-year-old girl in Palermo died while she was supposedly taking part in an online challenge. This prompted a number of investigators and prosecutors to probe further. But it also enlisted more scrutiny about exactly how young people in Italy are protected online. Italy's data protection watchdog issued an order directly to TikTok. They said that the platform needed to block and remove any users where it couldn't be certain that they were over the minimum age of 13. The data protection authority is saying that this was a matter of urgency. Well, TikTok have now responded to that. They have confirmed that from February the 9th, any users that do not provide proof they are over the age of 13 will be removed from the platform. In speaking to Euronews, the TikTok have also said that they will be adding a function that allows other users to report people they think are under age. This comes alongside increasing the number of moderators they have in Italy and more information campaigns directed at both parents and students. Speaking to Euronews in a statement sent to us from their head of child safety for Europe, TikTok said that keeping people safe on their platform is their top priority. There is no finish line when it comes to protecting our users, TikTok say, especially younger ones. And they say they are continuing to invest in the people, processes and technology that help keep their community in a safe and positive way. So what's the response been to this? How effective will these new regulations be? Well, Italy's data protection authority has said that they will continually monitor how effective TikTok's new policies are in keeping people safe. What's more, the president for the Commission of Childhood and Adolescence in the country has repeated that it is a necessary safety of minors which must be protected at all costs and that what happened in Palermo cannot be allowed. And at least Italy are also extending this now to other platforms. Instagram and Facebook also being asked to review how firstly they keep underage people off the platform but also how they keep their other users safe and protected.